happy Thanksgiving to all my Americans down south there. Hopefully you guys had an amazing Thanksgiving with your friends and family. Yes, I know guys, I'm one day late. I apologize guys, I was just thee thawing my turkey here. So I just wanna do it nice and safe. And yes, guys, I wasn't prepared. I thought it was Thanksgiving on Friday. I don't know why, but let's get into this. I have my turkey in O'Brien overnight, guys. All I'm gonna do, oh man, I think it's still frozen. You know what? Let's figure something out. Take out some guts. Take out that neck. Come on. There you go, look at that neck. So beautiful. Spread this guy's legs. Cut down here. Cut down here. I'm gonna try to pop this guy's joint out. You know what, we'll let Gravy help me with this. See that? That joint's out. All right, once that joint's out, you gotta take your very sharp knife and you wanna cut around that joint right there. There you go, your thigh. Woo! <laughs> I'm gonna dislocate this. So to dislocate this, you're just gonna pop your bone or pop that knuckle out and cut in between them two. So you got your drum and your thigh. There it is. Okay, turkey ass. Pop that nice turkey ass out. Take your sharp knife. Beautiful turkey ass. That's a big one right there. <laughs> Spread this wing out. Cut under that armpit there. Pop off that bone. Cut around that bone. There it is. Nice, beautiful wing. So we're gonna cut down this wing too. So I just guesstimate where the two meet. And it should just easily cut right there. There it is. One wing. To wing the breast. So all you gotta do, feel for that neck bone there. So once you find the neck bone, and take your knife and cut along that beautiful neck bone. Just get that nice and cut along that neck bone there. You're gonna take your knife now. You're gonna feel on that backbone there. And you're gonna follow along on one side of the backbone. See, you feel that backbone there. And all we're gonna do, take our blade and run it along that back one. It's a little frozen. So you gotta keep jamming it up. All right. All right guys, it's a little frozen, so it's a little harder. But we'll manage to pop this out. Just follow that back one there, guys. It's your guide. There it is, a beautiful breast. Look at that. Just got an all nice and deep bone. I got half a cup of olive oil going on this. Half a tablespoon of onion salt or garlic salt. Two tablespoons of lori seasoning. One tablespoon of hot chili pepper. Two tablespoons of paprika. Now do it, take your beautiful clean glove. <laughs> Get into it guys. Just got that all nice and marinated. We're just gonna cover this. We're gonna let this sit for an hour or two before we start baking it guys. Next, got a hunk of ham here guys or honey glazed ham. So, take your ham, chop this ham plastic off. Take this ham, let's see if I can one hand it. Yeah, I can. Them gains, guys. <laughs> I throw it on the second rack here at 420, guys. I'm gonna cook this for about 40 minutes. It also came with a glaze packet here, which I'm just gonna add in at the end after 45 minutes, guys. Our sides, sweet potato yams. So I got four yams cut up. We got mashed potatoes as well. I got seven rusted potato into this pool here too. As we wait for our potatoes to cook, gravy time. So I got three tablespoons of butter going into my pan here. Butter's nice melted. Three tablespoons of flour going in. I'm gonna cook that flour in with the butter. One liter of beef broth, low sodium. A teaspoon of garlic salt. A tablespoon of onion powder. A teaspoon of white pepper. A teaspoon of black pepper. Mix this in and it becomes nice and thick. Sweet mash complete, two tablespoons of butter going in. We got a half a teaspoon of cinnamon or ground cinnamon. Quarter teaspoon of ground nutmeg. Half a teaspoon of ground ginger. Two tablespoons of brown sugar. And a teaspoon of salt. Take your masher, mash it all that in. Once I got that nice and mush, I'm also gonna throw in half a cup of heavy whipping cream as well, guys. Next, take this. Go into your beautiful pan here. Guys, this is not a pie. This is sweet potato mash, all right? I'm not making no pies, okay? <laughs> Last touches to this, marshmallows on top. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Not to do it, guys. We're just gonna wait 
to the end until we throw it into the oven, guys. Next, our mashed potato, two tablespoons of butter going in. We got a tablespoon of salt, a tablespoon of onion powder, a teaspoon of white pepper. We got a half a cup of sour cream. And nothing to it, mash this in. Stuffing time, one tablespoon of butter here, two tablespoons of olive oil, half a cup of onions, half a cup of chopped celery, half a cup of chopped carrots, a tablespoon of garlic going in, and I'm gonna let these veggies sweat. So I got my veggies to sweat, I got half a cup of dates here, guys, my twist, my take on it, half a cup of almonds, we got half a tablespoon of poultry seasoning, a pinch of black pepper, a pinch of white pepper, a tablespoon of salt, one liter of chicken sauce. Once you got this nice and boiled up, Got two French baguette here that's already been toasted and cut it up. Take my broth, dump it on. Once you got this nice mix, I'm throw into my baking sheet here or baking pan. Flatten this out. Pop out my ham roast. Take my stuffing, throw it in at 420 for about 20 to 25 minutes. Next, a very easy green bean casserole. So I got two cans of mushroom soup here. Two package of frozen green beans here, which I'm just gonna dump in. It's a nice, easy, simple recipe, guys. Spice this up a bit more. Tablespoon of salt, tablespoon of garlic, tablespoon of onion powder, half tablespoon of paprika, teaspoon of white pepper, quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. I'm gonna get this a little creamier with half a cup of heavy whipping cream. I'm gonna let this simmer up, guys. Mac and cheese time. So I got some water here. I'm gonna throw in a tablespoon of salt. Take some mac noodles. Toss in half a bag. Mac and cheese sauce, two tablespoons of butter going in, two tablespoons of flour, cook that flour in, one liter of chicken stock, two cups of heavy whipping cream, teaspoon of garlic, teaspoon of white pepper, one tablespoon of onion powder, spoon of garlic salt, got a teaspoon of ground mustard here. Mix this in until it becomes nice and thick, guys. To get your sauce thickened up nicely, guys, turn off your heat. Now I'm gonna throw in a cup of mozzarella cheese. I got two cups of sharp cheddar cheese. Fold this cheese in. Here you go, guys. Turkey going in at 420 for one hour, guys. Turkey's coming out soon, guys. Let's start on our mac and cheese. So mac and cheese sauce on our macaroni. Mix this beauty in. Pour my mac and cheese onto this platter here. Another top layer of cheddar cheese into the oven at 450, guys, till the cheese melt. Let's set this up, guys. So, creamy sweet potato mash on this side here, one on this side here. Next, coming in with the honey ham. Oh, yes. Oh, my cast iron. Take the sauce. Sauce on. We got some stuffing that I just want to mush up here. Just put it on this pot there. Dark meat. Oh, yeah. Just pile on to the stuffing there. Some of this grease here. Pour this grease all over. Next, on this end, mashed potatoes. Take our gravy, throw into our gravy cup. On this end, green bean casserole. I just cooked it in the pot, guys, and then bake it. Just gonna do a few scoops here. Just pour it on there. Finish it off with some fried onions. All right, next, guys. <laughs> Crusty mac and cheese. <laughs> guys, I low key try to be suspicious, not be suspicious, but be. What's that word? Just being low key, guys. I know I said I didn't want to put any panko on top, but then I low key did it. 
then I burnt it. That's okay guys, it's just the surface. You can scrape that off. Corn on the top. Last touches guys, we're gonna carve our turkey. So hopefully it's not dry. <laughs> I feel like it is a little dry, but only one way to find out guys. Cut. What do you guys think? Is this a dry turkey or what? Nah, that's not a dry turkey. Look at that, it's perfectly cooked. That's perfectly cooked. Oh man. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. I go by feel. Here. There it is guys. Happy Thanksgiving from my family to yours. Guys. Hopefully you guys are enjoying that quality time with your friends and family. Eating lots. Enjoying fun moments. And just having a good time guys. If you guys are still hungry. Just come through to my house, guys. I got a lot of leftovers for you guys. Before we start into this, guys, this is the craziest story I ever got to tell you guys. Like, I don't know why, but my mom bought this. I don't know where or how she bought this, but she just told me the other day that she got some red wine and she would like to give it to me. And she got some Grand Marnier. <laughs> I don't know how, I don't know how, I don't know why. I just, I just have a lot of questions on how she got this. I just don't know, guys, but. I never had Grand Marier ever. It is a orange cognac. Yeah, it does have a really nice orange cognac taste smell to it. All right, we'll start off with a nice little shot. Cheers to a long day. Happy Thanksgiving down south to America there. Hopefully you guys are having an awesome one. Cheers guys. Ugh, that's weird. It's a very sweet cognac. I'm not sure if I like sweet cognac. Good thing I didn't shoot this down. I think I feel like this thing needs to be mixed with something. It's like a very syrupy, orange syrup. Ugh. Next liquor choice, guys. Jim Bean whiskey or bourbon. So this whiskey or bourbon was from, where is it? The bourbon. Fried chicken, yeah, the bourbon mustard fried chicken. I think this will suit more than that sweet, nasty liquor there. <laughs> All right, cheers guys. Cheers to another beautiful Thanksgiving, guys. I think that's more suitable for this <laughs> than the sweet liquor there. All right, let's get into this, guys. So, don't come at me and be like, Quan, you should wait for your family. Guys, we are done work in two hours, and this is gonna be my first meal, and it took me about five hours to cook, guys. I'm starving. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying right now. I'm just hungry. So, this, um, let's go a little dark meat. Oh, I gotta move that chicken ass, or the turkey ass. I might eat it tonight, low-key, by myself without you guys. <laughs> I need some alone time, okay? Everybody cool with that? Okay, stuffing um, some casserole or mashed potatoes. Or not mashed potatoes, I don't know what I'm thinking right now. Sweet potato mash. All right. Um, okay. Mashed potatoes. Guys, even when my family comes by, it's not gonna even look like I touched it. <laughs> so, everybody gotta chill out, okay? Green bean casserole over here. Oh, kitty's up. Trying to get the air tight. Kitty! Oh man. Almost forgetting. Mac 
and cheese. Just a tad bit. Oh man, look at that mac and cheese, guys. Look at that. Nice, warm, delicious, crusty, smoky, because I burnt the top. <laughs> what else am I forgetting? Sometimes in life, guys, you just gotta treat yourself in the beginning and wait for everybody else later. <laughs> you gotta help yourself first, guys, okay? All right, bratty kitties up. Hey! What am I first forgetting? Oh yeah. Got some of this gravy here, guys. Help yourself. Oh, yeah. Nice, all good, all good, all good. Help yourself first before you help anybody else, right? It's a little selfish uh, thing to say, but it's true, guys. Like in the plane, like when you're in the plane. Wait, let me get a knife, what was I saying? Oh yeah, when you're in the plane, guys. And when you're going through that, um, is it all fat? Oh, it is all fat here. Where's the meat? Meats on this side. Goofed it there. Flip it over. There you go. And then we'll slice it. All right. In the plane, they say, you know, when they're going through the safety things. Sorry, guys. It might look awkward, but oh, there you go, guys. Your plate. Take out your hand. Quick time. Kitty gets the first bite of the beautiful turkey. Kitty, hey, how's it? Kitty, hey, is it good? <laughs> <laughs> All right, check this plate out, guys. Guys, look at this. All right, what did the, what was I saying? Something with the plane, oh yeah, okay. When you're on the plane and the emergency, whatever, they're, they're doing an emergency thing. Uh, they always tell you to help yourself first or put on your mask first before you help anybody else. So that's what I'm saying, guys. You gotta, you gotta be selfish sometimes. <laughs> or, I don't know, I don't, I don't think I'm selfish here. But, guys, quick time, I'm starving, guys. Mashed potatoes mixed with sweet potato mash. Quick time! It's got it. Nice. Pop for this. Mmm. That's very nice. Bread, not bread. Stuffing. Quick time. It's got it. Nice. Pop for this. Oh, yeah. I love the little dates in there. Guys, another one? Try it! There we got it. Nice. Pump this. And the almonds. Mmm! So maybe like Quan, you should have baked the, was it, green beans? Guys, it's perfect as it is. Quick tap. Let's go. Nice. Pump this. Mmm. That's bombs. Here. Mac and cheese. Quick time. I did my little twist and take on it. There's a little smoke taste to it. Just got it. <laughs> Pop for this. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That's very nice. Alright. A little ham. Let's go. Nice. Pop for this. You can't go wrong with that ham. Mmm. Mmm, mmm. What a beautiful thing, guys. Oh, man. Mmm. You know what I like? Just simple. It's simple. It's everything simple. Nothing's like out of the ordinary. It's just simple. You know how sometimes I do um, Thanksgiving, I do like can grab legs, whatever. It's nice, don't get me wrong with that, but I really like this simple, just simple dinner. It's so simple. Simple flavors, nothing fancy. Mmm. It's just simple. Mmm. Corn, quick tap. That's got nice pump for this. Mm -hmm. These kernels are really small. Oh man. 
but it's packed with flavor. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. A bite of the turkey, guys. My turkey will never ever be dry. Quick time. Bite it. Pump for this. Oh man. You see how simple my marinade was? That is so simple and good. Oh man. Sometimes in life guys, you just gotta treat yourself. Oh man. After a big feast, you know, after a big feast, I was eating first though. <laughs> just because nobody in my family likes being camera. Sometimes my brother does, but. Majority of everybody, they don't like it. I'm trying to eat fast. I don't know why I'm trying to eat fast though. They're coming in two hours, so. Right. Juan, just take it easy. <laughs> but I think that's like the mentality thing I have. Where I have, back in my head, I have a lot of dishes, so I gotta clean up. Refresh everything for everybody, and when they come, I'll be like, I didn't even eat. <laughs> I need more sides for my drumstick. So I got the oh yeah, so I got the mac and cheese, just a tad. The green beans, the corn, get a tad bit more mash. Oh man, what else would I get? This right here, sweet potato mash. The sweet potatoes mash is amazing, guys. And oh, some gravy. Oh man! <laughs> Another bite of this. The drumstick. Quick time. Or the wing drumstick. Yeah, it's got it. Nice. Pump for this. That's amazing. Oh man. I'm gonna chill out on this one, guys. There's no rush. The food is not running away from you, right, Juan? <laughs> I always hear that comment every time. Juan, it's all yours. <laughs> the food is not running away from you. Guys, yes, after a feast, after cooking on no food, mm, I'm very hungry. Try that next time, guys. Cook a dinner like this, with no food in you, just water. No snacking in between. Then try to control yourself. Try to. <laughs> After four to five hours, sometimes eight hours, you're gonna be hungry. Mm, 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 mm. That's very nice. Mm. I have a question. Shout out to America. Oh, yes, it is thanks American Thanksgiving, but I always see these videos popping up. Black Friday sales. Hopefully you guys didn't stomp on anybody this Black Friday. <laughs> but I got a question. Here in Canada, here in Canada we do have Black Friday too. 
but it's not as crazy as America Black Friday. Mmm. I'm gonna put this down. Let me fix this camera. Let me take a little shot of whiskey. <laughs> gotta chase it down with some cranberry. Alright, wait, wait, wait. I got a knife here. Shout out to all the germaphobe. But, did I kick Kitty? <laughs> I didn't kick her. What? I got a question, guys. Why in America are there people, is there art, is it art, is or are, are there people stepping on other people because of deals? How good of a deal is in America that, or are there people or why are there people stepping on other people to get that deal? Like I seen one video where it was just like people fighting over a microwave. Like let's say a microwave, give or take, a good microwave can cost you around 40 or 50 dollars. How much does it go down in America? Like how much, how much does it cost on Black Friday? That's what I want to know. Like I'm thinking like a dollar, like it, re it reduces down to a dollar for people to step on other people or fight people for that dollar microwave. Like how much does it reduce down to? I'm curious. I'm very curious. I said that $50 microwave, a good microwave, drops down $10. That's not a lot to be stepping over people or punching people or fighting people. I wanna know. <laughs> like how much does that microwave cost, like a good microwave? Like how much, like for example, a $50 microwave, a good $50 microwave, how much does it cost on Black Friday? For people to step on people and punch people and fight people. Oh, hi. <laughs> hi, you little monkey. Yeah. Can you eat this all? You probably pass out if you eat this all, hey, kitty? Huh? You probably pass out if you eat this all. Here. I'll put it here for you. Right here. You want to say hi to everybody first? No? Hey, kitty. Hey. Okay. Find it. Don't at me, okay? Don't be like, Kwan, can I get the recipe for that delicious pecan pie you bake? No! <laughs> it's a family recipe, okay? Don't come at me with that. Last bite of this. So warm pecan pie or homemade pecan pie <laughs> with ice cream. Oh, man. This is crumbling everywhere, guys. A bite of this. Quick tap. He's got it. Nice. Pump for this. Excuse you, kitty. You guys hear that? <laughs> oh, no. That's amazing. That's over the top amazing. Another one. Quick time. Let's go. Nice. Mmm. Wow. Something with something cold and something warm. That makes everything so lovely. <laughs> mm. Wow. I'm such a good baker. <laughs> mm. 
Alright, to the ones that couldn't take the joke, <laughs> there are people out there, guys, that can't take the joke. And they're very serious about it. <laughs> I just want to say that I did bake this. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoy this one. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Also, don't forget to pick up one of your food lights, beautiful thing. Share. Or a pump one. Like, share. Peace out.